Hey there, it's Caitlin from Fun with Chemistry at Rice University and today we're going to show you one of the experiments that we love to do, which we call the oscillating clock. So first I'll show you the glassware that we're going to use. So this is called an Erlenmeyer flask. And what I'm going to do is I have three solutions here and I'm going to pour them all into this Erlenmeyer flask and we'll see what happens. So first solution is called solution A, which is comprised of potassium iodate and sulfuric acid. So I'm going to pour that in here, and as you can see, it's just a clear solution still. And then I'm going to pour solution B, which is a combination of malonic acid, manganese sulfate, and starch in water. We're going to combine those two. You can see it's still just a clear solution. And then the last solution is just some hydrogen peroxide. And let's see what happens when we pour this third solution in. So we start with a yellow amber color, and if we keep watching, we can see a dramatic change to a dark blue, and then if we keep watching even more, we can see it oscillate back to this clear amber color. So we call this the oscillating clock reaction because this reaction will continue going in a circular motion for about five minutes. And basically the way that we like to explain this is it's a circular reaction because we start with chemicals A and B. Those react together to form a chemical C, which then inside the solution there's also something called D. So C and D react, which then forms A again, and you just complete the circle. So the kids that we show this demonstration to love this, and this will just keep going for the next five minutes. Thanks for watching.